Marjorie Taylor Greene said that there are two genders and that you should trust the science. Those of us who do trust the science because we are doctors and scientists and hormone experts know that gender is a social construct and that there are things like 5-alpha reductase deficiency where people are born genetically male with female sexual characteristics that then develop male sexual characteristics in puberty so that even biological sex is non-binary, let alone gender identity which has to do with social and cultural determinants. And so I would say please keep science out of your mouth if you're trying to justify your hateful ignorance. Swallowed shampoo, probably gonna die. It smelled like fruit, that was a lie. Called the number on the bottle, spoke to a guy. He said vomit, I said why. He said poison, I said goodbye. I look at my finger, I look at my life. It wasn't that much, I'll probably be fine. I swallowed shampoo, I'm probably gonna die. It smelled like fruit, that was a lie. I swallowed shampoo, probably gonna die. Morgan Freeman. I, I can't do it. Sure you can. You just need to know where to start. Like with any impression, you find a phrase and say it over and over and over. With Morgan Freeman, I like to use the words, ah, uh, yes. Say, ah, uh, yes, with the deepest voice you can. And it's going to be very quiet. Ah, uh, yes. See, it's already about 20% there. It's all about the repetition. Now you build up strength with that voice, almost like lifting weights and building up a muscle. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Play around with it a little bit. Ah, yes. Then maybe find a longer phrase. Sometimes a man. Or maybe, truth of the matter is. It's a lot of repetition and it's pretty boring, but in the end, ah, yes. Truth of the matter is, you find something you can use for the rest of your life. This is for all uh, people of color. What is the whitest thing you do? So Netflix has a new nature documentary coming out. It's called Seaspiracy. Conspiracy. It's right there. Right there. What is a word in your foreign language that just sounds insanely inappropriate to English speaker? In the southern part of my country, Nigeria, when you want to say you have, you say a fucked. When you want to say A, you say you. And when you want to say delivery, you say Wi-Fad. So when a mailman wants to say you have a delivery, he says, I fucked your wife hard. All right, it's 10 a.m. I don't have work until four. I have all day to get things done. No, you have work at four. I don't care if it's 10 o'clock. You can't do anything else today. That's six hours from now. There's so many things I can do today. No, you have to get ready and eat and leave early. What if there's traffic? I only live 15 minutes away. I don't think there's going to be that much traffic. Uh, uh You need to spend all day thinking about how you have work at four. Yeah, that is a valid way to spend my time. You have work at four. I have work at four. And can you do anything else today? No, I cannot do anything else today. I have work at four. So I was just here filling up my water bottle. Just over that stream there and I saw this splash go on. And then I saw that it was, in fact, a platypus. Look at that. How cool is that? <clears throat> I'm built different. different oh so you're a feminist yeah name every woman whitney houston hi my name's killian and welcome to some cunt's guide to the countryside today we're reviewing that's right you guessed it stone walls ireland is famous for its picturesque stone walls they're just stones laying on top of each other um no cement the people around here are just like what cement don't know it don't need it this stone wall here like that Sorry, that could be porn. That is actually pornography. The people who live there are perverts. That is disgusting. Hey Paddy, yeah, the stones are too big. No, they're way too big. It looks completely ridiculous. Pebble Dash. 
popcorn walls. Anyone who fell into one of these as a child knows that these are the most dangerous things known to man. When I was a kid and they were talking about weapons of mass destruction and my mum was like, things that cause lots of damage. And I was like, oh, popcorn walls. Some people have been asking me to review fences and I was like, um, hello, the early Georgian period called, they want their banal and unsustainable forms of marking the boundaries between properties back. I don't think guys actually have that deep of a voice. I'm convinced they purposely just be like, hey. She knows. She knows. She's a spike size. What? Has Smeagol lost his nerve? No. Never. Tell me you got a nice package without telling me you got a nice package. <laughs> Tell him, honey. He doesn't. You bitch. Hey, what do you want to wear tonight? I don't know. What do you want to wear tonight? Tired about hearing of rude celebrities. Have you or anyone you know ever shared a nice experience? I win at this trend. This wasn't just a celebrity, this was my idol. When I was 15, I was eating in a crab shack in Delaware with my family when all of a sudden my eyes follow this one guy walking into the restaurant. And I was in such disbelief that it kind of took me a while to realize who it was. But when I did, I was so overwhelmed that I just started crying and I buried my head in the table. And I hear my mom say, Oh, don't worry, he's just a really big fan, he's okay. This man comes to our table, pats me on the back, and I look up, and he's just like, Hey, dude, what's up? And for the next 20 minutes, he just sat and talked to me and my family, like a regular-ass dude. But before he went back to his party, he says, Make sure you say goodbye to me before you leave. So we walk outside, and he's standing there with his baby daughter, and there's all these fans trying to get a picture with him and stuff. He then walks through them, comes up to me, and says, It was nice to meet you, Dylan. Keep playing that guitar. It was Dave Grohl changed my life so i decided to knit a tiktoker that makes me happy in the hopes that he sees this and it makes him happy too who that's supposed to be made the head and then made the eyeballs and popped those in and then sewed them into angry position and then i did the same with his eyebrows as well and then i unraveled some yarn and stuff that's me oh, i forgot about the eyeshadow eyeshadow too that's me some yarn to make hair and oh my help me with this bit and then i put all of the hairs in individually and then gave him a hair and beard trim and then this is what he looks like gorgeous Yay. i love it I love it hope it makes you happy just jt here with a friendly reminder that white privilege does not mean you haven't struggled it simply means that in a system that's rigged against us all it's rigged against us the least and because we should be interested in dismantling that entire system that's rigged against us all it's our obligation as the people with the best chance to do the most work to try and make the system work for everybody. Not be worried about, oh, maybe we might lose some ground. Because if we help everybody gain ground, we gain ground. Equality is not a pie. You don't lose part of it because you give some to somebody else. Equality is just like a thing that we should have. So, yeah, enjoy that. It's fucking miserably cold out here. Okay, Pug, we have like one and a half more to go. I know, it's hard. Okay. <laughs> Pug. Pug, you have to stop. It's okay. Pug. Pug. Chill. Okay. Luca, uh, pass me the one. That one like that. Which one? Which? What's that? W which one? Don't be stupid. The one like that. Go inside. Bring me the that one. Dale. I don't know what that is. <laughs> 